Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Major Garrett in for Nora. We begin tonight on the campaign trail for the 2024 Republican nomination. Nikki Haley is facing a barrage of criticism, not for something she said during a New Hampshire town hall, but for something she didn't say when a voter asked simply, what caused the Civil War? The former South Carolina governor and Trump administration U.N. ambassador did not mention slavery in her answer. Instead, she said it was about the role of government and the rights of the people. Haley attempted to clean up her remarks today and blamed a Democratic plant for the question. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is back on the primary ballot in Colorado as state Republicans appeal the ban to the U.S. Supreme Court. CBS's Scott McFarlane is here to start us off tonight with the very latest. Scott, good evening. Major, good evening to you. Trying to spring it upset, Nikki Haley has been fighting for months to win the spotlight. But tonight, she's beneath a glaring one and taking the heat. Nikki Haley, who's been surging in the polls in New Hampshire, now faces a rising wave of criticism over this response to a question at a town hall event. Um, what was the cause of the United States Civil War? I mean, I think the cause of the Civil War was basically how government was going to run, the freedoms and what people could and couldn't do. When asked why she didn't what mention slavery, Haley War? responded, what do you want me to say about slavery? The former South Carolina governor was blasted by both parties. President Biden posted it was about slavery. And Haley drew similar criticisms from her GOP opponents, Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. Shows, uh, this is not a candidate uh, that's ready for prime time. On the radio today. I mean, of course, the Civil War was about slavery. And back on the stump, Haley tried to clear up her answer. We know that. That's unquestioned, always the case. We know the Civil War was about slavery. But again appeared to equivocate. Let's not forget what came out of that, which is government's role, individual liberties. And she criticized the voter who'd asked the original question as a plant of the Democrats. The fact that Nikki Haley has had such a stumble on an easy question you know, is dismaying to those who would like to see her continue to climb in the polls. Haley today touted her decision to remove the Confederate flag from South Carolina's capital in 2015 after the mass shooting at an historically black church in Charleston. Her critics today resurfaced quotes Haley gave in 2010 in which she defended the flag as a symbol of heritage. Now, this is not something that is racist. There is news tonight about Donald Trump's access to the Republican primary ballot in Maine. And Scott McFarland is here with those late-breaking developments. Scott? Yeah, tonight, Maine Secretary of State has ruled Donald Trump's name should be stripped from that state's primary ballot. The latest legal challenge in the latest state alleging his actions on January 6th supported insurrection and violated the 14th Amendment. In the meantime, Trump is back on the primary ballot in Colorado. The state Supreme Court made a similar ruling last week, but Republicans appealed that ruling. And during the appeal major, he gets back on the ballot. But both sides want this to go to the U.S. Supreme Court to determine. For a definitive ruling from the nation's highest court, Scott McFarland, thank you.